we asked him, why did you run away? And he said he just got tired of her not respecting his boundaries. He wanted his own life. And his exact word was, I was tired of living like a slave. And he would do the required work she was supposed to do. And a lot of the responsibility. And that was her crossing his personal space boundaries. He said that she would make him sleep in the bed with her. And he said that she made him play daddy. He said that she, that he didn't like getting in the bed with her. That he would try to sneak out of the bed and sometimes hide under the bed, but she told him he had to be her husband. That's a damn shame. The little boy said she was the one providing drugs to him for years. Hallucinate, hallucination drugs, mushrooms, etc. And that the reason why he was left, he was just tired of her crossing his boundaries when he would shower. She would come and pull the shower curtain back and stare at him and then she would make him bathe her with the soap. And he ran away this time because he was tired. Well, now, you've been doing this for many years. How emotional has today been with this case? It's a goddamn shame. I ain't never in my life heard of a mother doing to a child what this woman did. Were you at all there when the mother was questioned? And yes. And what was her reaction when yes. she was brought to her? And she, I knew something was wrong with the story. When she was questioned, when he got, when, he, when they found him, he had her credit card in his pocket. She just canceled that credit card two and a half years ago. So if he's been missing for eight years, I didn't really get your credit card in, your, in his pocket when they found him from two and a half years ago. What she mean? And he said to us that she gave him that credit card so he could go and buy her some but, but with the other allegations, what was her response to those allegations? She hadn't even heard them because we had to remove her from the room. But did she, so she hasn't been questioned about that. Can you describe her demeanor and his demeanor during questioning? When she was in the room, he wouldn't say nothing. He wouldn't say one word when she was in the room. But the minute she left the room and we were allowed to talk to a young man, he asked. He said, can I speak with Mr. X by myself? Can I talk to one by myself? And the detective was like, well, can one of us stay in the room? And he was like, okay, but, but I'll talk to him. 